Today we shall be talking about the difference between receipt and payment account on one side and income and expenditure account on the other side. I have already uploaded the videos regarding the difference between receipt and income and the difference between payment and expenditure. Kindly have a look at those two. Let us begin with the points. C. Receipt and payment account is a real account. The nature of account is real account. And what shall we be abiding by? What comes in, it will be debited and what goes out shall be credited. To make the receipt and payment account, because it is a real account, we shall be holding this notion in mind that debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Whereas income and expenditure account, it is a nominal account. In this case, all the expenses and losses will be debited and all the incomes and gains will be credited. You will be showing on the debit side as regards to all your expenses, as regards to all your losses. And on the credit side, each and every income and gain will be recorded. The second point states that this receipt and payment account, it need not be accompanied by a balance sheet. It is just sufficient in itself when you want to have a view of your receipts and payment. But in the case of income and expenditure account, it is generally and it must be accompanied by a balance sheet. Then it gives you a full view of the financial statement of your company. Third point states that receipt and income account, receipt and payment account is just like a cash book. It is also called a summary of the cash book. Like when you prepare your cash book, what do you do? Cash received and cash paid. Everything is recorded there. Similarly, in the receipt and payment account also, whatever cash transactions you are doing, you will be recording them in receipt and payment account. That is why it is stated that it just resembles a cash book. But income and expenditure account is not a cash book. It is like a profit and loss account because what are you going to record in income and expenditure account? You are going to record your all the incomes and all your expenditures. Even if you have paid or you have received, that is not this concern for income and expenditure account. All your incomes and all your expenditures will be recorded. That is why we state that it is resembling a profit and loss account. Further, fourth point, closing balance is carried forward to the next period in the receipt and payment account. Whatever you will be having the closing balance as shown in your account, it will be carried forward to the next period. But here in income and expenditure account, it is merged into the capital fund. You remember the way we treat the profit and loss account, you don't carry it forward, you just put it in your capital fund. Next. For the receipt and payment account, debit side is for the receipts and credit side is for the payments. On the debit side of receipt and payment account, you will be showing whatever you are receiving. And on the credit side of the receipt and payment account, you will be showing whatever you are paying. What is the rule? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. As simple as that. Now for income and expenditure account, debit side will be showing your expenses and credit side will be showing your incomes. Okay. And the rule states debit all expenses and credit all the incomes. Simple. Sixth point states that closing balance in the receipt and payment account represents cash in hand and at the bank. The closing balance of this account will be showing you the cash in hand and the cash at bank. Whereas in income and expenditure account, the closing balance represents either surplus or deficiency. It will not show you your cash balance. That is why the closing balance is merged into the capital fund, be it surplus, be it deficiency. Seventh point states that receipt and payment account includes both the capital items and the revenue items. Look, when you will be recording the receipts on the receipt side of the receipt and payment account, you will be recording all the receipts whether they are capital receipts or they are revenue receipts. As for the payment side of the receipt and payment account, you will be, you will be writing all the capital payments and all the revenue payments as well. So basically you will be taking all the capital items, be it receipt or payment and all the revenue items will be recorded here. 
बट इनका इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू विल बी रिकॉर्डिंग ओनली द रेवेन्यू आइटम्स यू विल नॉट बी टेकिंग द कैपिटल आइटम्स इन टू अकाउंट when you will be recording the incomes it will be only revenue income and when you will be calculate uh, writing the expenditure it will be only the revenue expenditure capital items will not be taken into account in income and expenditure account now receipt and payment account usually shows a debit balance it is just like a cash book right that is why generally shows a debit balance but the income and expenditure account it may show a debit balance and it can also show a credit balance now receipt and payment account it ignores outstanding items because you will be taking into consideration whatever actually you have received and whatever actually you have paid if your some expenses are there but you haven't paid all of them hai na to which you not have paid that will not be recorded what will be recorded in receipt and payment account is the actual actual payment you have done so whatever outstanding is there it will not be recorded if you consider your income also if some income is due but you haven't received it so you will not record it it ignores outstanding items but in the income and expenditure account you will be recording all the outstanding items whether you have received or not if it is you will be recording all the outstanding items in the income and expenditure account now the receipt and payment account ignores credit sales and credit purchases they are not recorded here because you are concerned with the actual payment with the actual receipts credit sales and credit purchases are out of the purview of receipt and payment account but in this case income and expenditure account it will be recording all the credit sales and the credit purchases as well now uh, see receipt and payment account it includes the prepaid items this will be recorded there but here income and expenditure account it will not record prepaid items they are excluded receipt and payment account usually begins with the balance which is called the opening cash balance because it is just like a cash book and income and expenditure it will not begin with the balance there will be no opening cash balance at all 13th point states that it includes items relating to past present and future periods all the items whether you have received it is the related to your present or your past or your future but you have received it that receipt will be recorded in the receipt and payment account it does not classify it will not be concerned that which years receipt are you talking about if it is a receipt it will be recorded that is all okay all the receipts will be recorded in the receipt and payment account whether those receipts are for the past year the previous year or the future year or even if you are present here it will be recorded means record similarly all the items all the payments also will be recorded even if you are paying it for your previous year you are paying it for your present year you are paying it for your future year whatever if it is a payment it will be recorded there so whatever period it is it will be recorded now in income and expenditure account it includes items relating to current period only only current year you will not be considering the incomes or the expenditure of the previous year you will not be considering the income and expenditure of the future year only of the current present year items will be recorded in income and expenditure account now this receipt and payment account it is not a part of the double entry system we make it but it is not included in double entry system here income and expenditure is very well part of double entry system now the last point is it ignores non cash items like depreciation and bad debts they are not recorded in receipt and payment the name only itself shows what is it it is the receipt and the, it is the payment now for depreciation it is not a receipt or a payment to anybody right depreciation is a provision depreciation is an expenditure so you will not be recording any depreciation any bad debts in the receipt and payment account but all the non cash items will find a place in income and expenditure account you will be recording depreciation you will be recording bad debts and any other other non cash items will also find a place in income and expenditure account so here we come to the end of the article i hope i have made the things very clear to you in case you have any doubt kindly feel free to ask me in the comment section please like to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed